Well, welcome back to this week's video. Uh, we're going to continue working on the garage. As you can see behind me, I've put the gable siding on. And I've already cut these lookouts in, ready for this uh, end gable trim there. Got the Z metal in place. And for the siding, I put the siding on before I did the lookouts. That way I could run the router up along the top and get a nice smooth piece and then I cut out the, the notches for the lookouts uh, that way it's nice and square this side again did the same with the siding as you can see but I have to do the lookouts so let's get on with doing the lookouts cutting this off to the right length cutting the lookouts in place and then we'll get the end trim on and then we'll have to measure and cut all the tails so we can put the two by six face on here. And then it's ready to go for sheeting on the roof. Okay, so what I'm doing is coming down two feet, marking a line, X is that, and another two feet, marking a line. Then I'm just taking a 2x4 with this 2x4 width, marking both sides. Same here. And this will be the piece that I cut out an inch and a half deep. Do the same on the other side. And that'll be where the first lookout goes. Additionally, because I have these all on center, I have to figure out where this is going to go. I want it two feet out. This is there. It's three eighths, so I got to come back in an inch and a half. I just got a little bit here and it's not past the edge. This is not the ideal way to cut these out, but that's what I'm doing. Now I've got them cut out. You see they fit in there perfect. Not much space. Still, I'll do a little caulking around it just because, and I know it's under the eave, but both of them are cut just right. I do the other side. I'm using screws because I'm out of nails. Okay. 
is here our exterior interior exterior screws so they're fine plus they'll be underneath the roof Then nice and solid, same length as this. I just got to do the other two on the other side, and then we'll be ready to put the end trim up. Where am I going? Well, we got to put it on the end of these. And you just got to hold it up too high, too high, too high. Yeah. Gotta go that way, down, uh, up, up, All right. Up on it. Up. Yep. There. There. Okay. Come down. Come down. Move the ladder to the other side. So I've got the ends on, as you can see. What I've done is measured down eight foot and then taken an inch and a half off the end. Marked it because there'll be an inch and a half thickness. So I'll be able to use full sheets going up this side. Did that at both ends. I'm running a line. I put my level on here, do this straight up and down, all the way down. Those will be the tails that I cut off. Then I'll put my two by six fascia on and then we'll be ready to sheet it.
And no, I don't have a small bullet level. Look at the size of that mosquito. So, it's starting to come out already. Right. Okay, there we have it. We have the backside eave cut. Now it's a matter of putting the facial board up there. And then we'll start sheeting the roof.
Well, there's this side's done. Do the other side and get it done. Doesn't look too bad. I'm doing it myself. Well, let's get the other side done. I'll be ready to start laying sheets. So well. Yeah. Bugger's <laughs> <Hope you're> not. <laughs> you're getting close to your nail gun. I know. All right, I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> Can you hold this right here? Well, I got the roof all sheeted, blew it off so it's not slick when I'm up here walking to put the paper down. So now, just got to put some paper down. So, let's get to it. I don't have any 30 pound felt, but I got some regular black paper I'll put on it. And then I'll have to go over it again. Some heavier stuff, but at least this will keep it most of the way waterproof until I get the shingles.
got for paper right now I ran out it was just a used partial roll 10 pound felt so I gotta get another roll and I gotta get some shingles and uh, stuff to match the stuff on the house uh, as you can see I haven't got any repairs done on the house yet I know in the short I showed you the tree that had fallen down in our house we're waiting on insurance to show up for that and then we'll do a video on repairing that but right now I want to get this dried in so I'll have to go to town tomorrow and get some more felt put up here and maybe a couple uh, things of uh, shingles if I can scrape it out of the budget for now that's it for tonight I'll be back at it tomorrow well that's gonna do it for this week's video we got the uh, siding all done the rafters up the roofing on or at least the the sheathing on the roof and some black paper on to waterproof it um, the little strip up there will be covered tonight i've got it the roll sitting right inside the garage door there i gotta get up there in just a second finish that off so we're gonna finish this video now Next week will be, hopefully the weather holds a couple more days, we'll be painting it and then getting the windows on, getting the, the trim around the doors and the uh, garage door and possibly even starting an install on the garage door. So stay with us. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and God bless you all.